You know how you can sometimes get so immersed in reading, it's almost as if you're watching a movie? This happened to me with this manga. Hola! Today we're gonna be looking at Zankyo by Takahashi Tsutomu. It was published from 2015 until 2016 and it consists of three volumes, so it's rather short. It's the first manga I've personally read by this author, but he seems pretty well known outside of Japan as well. His most prominent work is arguably Jirai Shin. The impression I got from reading thoughts on his other works is that he likes to portray the grim sides of reality and this manga today is no exception to that. And I have to say it really resonated with me. Because, you know, Zankyo means resonant. <laughs> okay, let's get into the story. And now it's cloudy, how fitting. So... Our protagonist is a young man called Satoru. His existence is aimless and he doesn't even feel like a living human being anymore. He mentions it being summer, but his body is cold and he doesn't even feel the warmth. He's acquainted with a greatly old... Gravely ill. <laughs> He's acquainted with a gravely ill old man who used to be part of the Yakuza. One day, the old man asks Satoru to open a closet in which he finds a human skull, a pistol, and a shitload of money. The man then asks Satoru to take him out since he doesn't have long to live anyways. Satoru asks him why him and not one of his old friends. So the old man explains that he observed Satoru being nice to a cat outside, but he saw a murderous intent in his eyes. So he should just kill him and take the money and run away from here. Not only that though, he asked Satoru to change his life and to do that he should face people who are stronger than him. You know, unlike the cat from before. You can then see that Satoru works at a game center where he's frequently bullied by rude customers. One day they make a scene again and Satoru fantasizes about taking them out with the old man's gun. And this is when he changes his mind and decides to actually do it. I mean, kill the old man. <laughs> he hesitates for a bit and asks himself if he's really gonna be alright if he crosses this line, but he quickly realizes that he doesn't even wanna be alright, you know, or live a typical life. He just wants to feel warm when it's summer, aka he wants to feel alive. He makes up his mind and before he shoots, the old man asks Satoru to do one more thing. Deliver money to three families of the people he killed. Satoru agrees and he shoots. Now, he goes on a journey all over the country to deliver the money and this is where the real story starts. In case you don't want to know more, stop watching now because I might spoil a few things here and there in the next part of this video. This manga is just a cycle of despair. You start unhappy, you do something to try and make you happy, everything goes wrong and you end up being even more unhappy. And repeat, there's only one way this could end really. Throughout his journey, Satoru encounters all kinds of people, naturally all of them social misfits. One of them is Daigo, a trans woman Satoru sort of forms a relationship with. Later, the son of Daigo's sister joins them Due to reasons I won't get into now. So for the first time, Satoru has something that could be considered family. And this family, for the first time in his life, gives him a reason to exist. This reflects the desire for normality and intimacy. They planned on living together after they're done delivering the money, so it's always the same, right? The broken ones reject the normal life until they meet people who understand them. There is always one thing that gives people purpose and strength, and it's always love and family. And love doesn't have to be romantic, you know? On one hand, Satoru was able to find meaning by going down this dark path. On the other hand, he wasn't able to protect the ones he cares about precisely because it's a path that will not allow it. So even though there's no place for you in society, you long for normal things like family, so you form one that is not conventional. However, Satoru soon realizes that even outside of regular society, i.e. Yakuza circles and so on, people are the same everywhere. Everybody just thinks of themselves and of their gains. And this really makes it seem like there is no escape from pain. You could argue that a lot of the things that happen in this manga were necessary and 
Satoru could have found strength somewhere else. And that might be true, but it was because he picked up that gun and crossed the line that a change was literally triggered inside of him for the first time. If something else had happened that could have done the trick, who knows? But that's just not what happened. Everything after the first incident with the old man just occurred naturally, almost like a domino effect. If you experience something that causes such a fundamental change, it becomes easy to think that that's all you got. So you accept it as the one way to handle everything in your life. The same can be applied to many other things like drugs or sex. Once you find something that works for you, you might stop questioning it. But as you know, I really like stories about social outcasts when they're good and well written. So naturally, I really enjoyed this one. Since it has only three volumes, I can't go into the detail about everything that happens or I'll spoil everything. <laughs> but there are many layers to the story that I think are worth discussing. Of course, I also have a few words to say about the art. I personally love his style, but I can see how some people might not like it as it's not very polished. But I think for darker stories like this one, the art is really fitting and it makes everything look grittier. Sometimes stories of cruelness are illustrated extremely beautifully, which makes the stories quite romantic. But in this manga, you have a very realistic setting and the character design, while still clearly the manga style, is also somewhat realistic. I also love the mixture of detail and blurriness, if you know what I mean. And I love Satoru's design. He makes this one face a lot and I always find myself staring at it. I don't know, he... It's almost as if it reminded me of somebody I know. I don't know who, but he feels so familiar to me. <laughs> and yeah, the covers and the name is what drew me to this manga. It has great covers and the title. I love this word. I love the meaning of it. So that's I'm, I'm, I'm very simple. I like the title and the cover art and I just read it without even knowing what it's about. <laughs> Needless to say, I'll be reading everything by Takahashi Tsutomo I can get my hands on. There's actually a lot to talk about this manga, but again, I don't want to spoil every little detail. So I really hope some of you check this out so you can tell me your thoughts about it. That is all for this week. Have a great day. I hope everyone is healthy. 